Dear students, we have been already familiar how to draw a margin and title block. We have used only your line and a circle command to draw your margin and title block. Now we are going to discuss about few more drawing commands and modify commands in this lecture. Okay. First, I will be giving you a difference between your line and polyline. See students, by using your line command, first I have to draw my a square. The dimension of a square has been 50 mm. I just made your first click over here and I move to your x direction. 50, your y direction 50, enter, then once again your x direction 50, enter and I have drawn a 50 on your y direction, enter. Now I draw a square of 50 mm dimension. Similarly, I am going to do the same thing by using your polyline. See students, when I click your polyline, I just made my first click over here and I move to your x direction 50, your y direction 50, similarly once again your x direction 50 and on your y direction 50. Okay. Now I created two squares, one has been with your uh, line command, your another one is with your polyline command. See students, when I select a line of a square which is drawn by your line command, every line has been individual single line. Can you able to see? I have to select one by one. So we have four lines, four lines are individual from each to each other. Whereas now I will be selecting a square which has been drawn by a polyline. So you can see if I just made a click, the entire object will be selected. This is the difference between your line and polyline. When you use your line command, each and every line has been an individual setup. Whereas when you draw anything using your polyline, if you select any one line, all your object will be selected. Okay. Next, I am going to discuss about your circle command. See students, there are six types of circles which can be drawn by using your uh, circle command. Over here, first one is your center radius. So you are going to click your center and then you are going to enter your radius. Okay. Then for example, I am just doing it. Say I have just made a cent click over here and I just entered my di di radius has been 25. Okay. Now once again, I will be going for my another thing. I just click your center and diameter. Okay. So first I have to click your center point. I just made a center point. Okay, I, I just entered your diameter. I am going to enter my diameter as 100. So, if your diameter is 100, your radius is 50. Clear? Your next, your third has been two point circle. Okay? When we say two point circle, we are going to just enter your, only click your two point. See, when I click this, I will be just making my first point over here. Then, I will be making my second point. So, we are going to create by your initial point of your circle and your final point of your circle. Okay? Then, when I select your three point circle, so I have to click three points on your circumference. Just I made my first, second and third. Okay. Similarly, we have your tan radius. If you have to draw a circle between uh, two lines, then you know your radius. You can use your tan radius. For example, I just clicked your tan radius. I just made your, so it is asking your first tangent of your circle. So I just clicked your first tangent over here and this is my center and tangent. And they asked you to specify your radius. I have just given it as 25. Okay. So, if I have to draw another circle, just listen. I am going to for another circle. Once again, with a similar method. Tan radius circle. Okay. I have selected my first tangent point And I have selected my second tangent point. I have given my radius as 50. You can see it has been touched over here. And it has been moved over here between your two lines. Okay. Similarly, your last one. If I have to draw a tangent, tan, tan, tan. I have to collect only three lines. See over here, I have to select that. For that, I am just selecting, deleting your circle. I just selected your third one. I just first a first tan point, second tan point, and third tan point. You will be getting your circle. Clear with the students? So, I will be deleting these things. Uh, so, we can see other uh, drawing comments over here. Next, we are going to discuss about your arc students. When you are going for your arc, there are around three sets of your arc over here. Okay. So, first is your start, center, end. You are going to just click your start point, center point and end point. Then you can give your start, center, angle. Then you can give start, center, length. Then start, end, angle. Your start, end, direction. Start, end, radius. Center, start, end. And center, start, angle. Center, start, length. So, according to your application, you are going to select this. Okay. Now, I am going to discuss about over here. Your command is your rectangle. Okay. So, I just clicked your rectangle over here. Okay. It will be asking your first corner. I just made a click. See over here, you can see area, dimension and rotation. Okay. So, I have to give your dimension. For that, I am going to just enter your D over here. 
it will be asking your length of your rectangle so i am just giving my length of rectangle as 100 and it will be asking your width of your rectangle i have given your rectangle as 50 now you can see a rectangle has been available clear so this is one method see students we can draw polygon also over here you can see able to see a polygon i just clicked your inverted triangle over here near to this you are going to just click your polygon okay so it will be asking number of squares okay so now i am going to draw a pentagon so number of sides for your pentagon is 5 enter it will i am going to draw only by edge method so i have to give e enter it is asking your first point i just made a click over here to get your first point okay now i am going to my dimension as 30 mm your edge dimension is 30 okay see just enter 30 you will be getting a 30 mm pentagon clear if you have any doubt i will be just checking with your dimension see i just clicked your linear over here you can see your dimension has been 30 clear students next if i have to draw a pentagon so i have to once again click your polygon i have to enter my sides as 6 if you are going to draw a hexagon 6 h e enter i have to make my first point okay specify the end point of your edge so i am going to say my dimension is 50 50 okay enter so i will be getting a hex hexagon for 50 mm diameter okay next i have your center center method for drawing a ellipse but we are using only your eccentricity method so we are going to only focus on that okay so here you have a command called hatch see whenever you need to draw anything on a cut section this will be used on your sections of solids which we'll be discussing on your later session so with this uh, i complete your drawing command tools next i am going to go move for your modify commands so before moving to that i am going to just delete all your diagrams which i have drawn okay so first i am going to discuss about your move okay for that i am going to draw a circle over here i just click the center and i given my di diameter as 50 okay next i have just drawn a line over here for a reference only see students now i have to move this circle and i have just to place on this starting point of the line so for that i am going to just click your move over here it will be asking you to select your object i just click your object then press enter on your keyboard it will be asking you to displace one point i am going to select my center point as a displacement and i am going to just place it over here for this only i am going to use your move command clear next i am going to discuss about your copy your copy command has been already familiar to you students i am going to make a multiple copy of your object okay so first uh, if i click your copy select your objects enter it asks you select a base point i am going to just select this is my base point and i have to move it over here i have just selected it okay if i need any number of more i can keep on going after you identify your copy is being completed what i have to do i have to just click your escape so that the objects will be copied clear everybody now i will be for your reference i have just deleting all your objects now we are going to discuss about your rotate for that i am going to draw a pentagon number of sides for your pentagon is 5 i just click your first point over here okay number of pentagon side is 5 enter your e is your h enter i just made my first point my pentagon dimension is uh, 60 see students i have to rotate your pentagon okay for that what i have to do is i have to just click your rotate over here it asks you to select your object just select your pentagon then press enter it will be asking your base point i'm going to select this is my base point enter okay so even you you can rotate it manually by using your mouse or otherwise you can specify your angle over here so you can able to move it with your mouse also when you move your mouse automatically your pentagon will be moving otherwise you can directly enter your angle so for the reference i'm going to just enter 90 you can see it has been tilted to 90 degree clear so once again i am going to tilt for your 180 just rotate okay select your object selected it i have selected your base point okay then your rotation angle is 180 enter you can see it has been tilted to 180 degree clear students next i am going to do for your mirror command okay so first i have just clicked your mirror enter it will be asked you to select your object i just selected your pentagon it will be asking your first point of your mirror line this is my first point and i am going to select my second point you, it will be asking whether to erase your source object if you give yes your source object will be erased if you give no 
I am going to give no. So, you can see your both objects have been present over here. Clear students. So, next I am going to discuss about your trim. For that what I have to do is I have to draw two lines. First I have just made a draw line and I have just drawn an another line. Okay. So, your trim is nothing but it will be cutting cuts the edges beyond the corner points or edge points. I just clicked your trim. I have just selected your line which should be trimmed. You can see the object has been trimmed. So, wherever you have your edges, if you click that uh, beyond that edges, the content will be trimmed out. After completing a trim, you have to press your escape students. Now, I am going to discuss about your fillet. See, when your fillet, we have two types of your fillet students. One is your fillet comes for a radius, whereas your chamfer is for a flat surfaces. Okay. Now, I am going to discuss about your fillet. For that, what I am going to do is, I am going to just draw a square of 25 mm. I will be just zooming it. See students, for two sides I am going to do fillet and for two sides I am going to do for chamfer. First I click your fillet. It will be asking you to select your first object. This is your first line. Okay. Then it will be asking you to select your second object. So, I have just selected your just a minute. Since I have drawn on a polyline command, uh, so it can't be able to select it. Uh, just I will be drawing for your line command. 50 enter, 50 enter. 50 enter 50 escape so just select your fillet it will be asking your first just select your first okay then it will be asking to select once again just select your fillet first edges then your radius r enter i'm going to give my radius as 5 enter and just select your second object you can see your object has been filleted over here so, similarly, I am going to do for my another radius. So, just click fillet, select your first line, enter, enter my radius as 15, enter, select your second line. Okay. Now, I go for my chamfer. Just click your chamfer over here. It will be asking you to first your first line. I just selected your first line. Then, it will be asking distance or angle. So, I am going to for my distance method. So, D, enter. It will be asking your chamfer distance. I am going to give 5. Okay, then select your second line. It will be asking your second chamfer distance, that is also 5. Enter. You can see. See, students, uh, you can do chamfer with the two different uh, here one distance here one distance. i will be doing for uh, another one chamfer i just selected your first line and then i have given your distance d enter the first is 8 enter i am giving the second distance as uh, 5 enter okay just selected your second line see students one i have one edge i have selected as 8 and another edge has been 5 so you can be able to select uh, your both edges also next i am going to do about your discuss about your scale and uh, your array for that i just deleted your entire uh, objects which have been already drawn zoom enter a enter now i am going to do about a scale for that i have just drawn a circle see students i just drawn a circle okay so i am going to uh, enter it by your radius my radius is 25 so i have drawn a circle for radius of 25 i just click your scale it will be asking you to select your objects. I just selected your objects. Then enter. It will be asking you to base point. I just given you a base point. Okay. See, you know that I have just uh, drawn a circle for 25. So, what I have to do is I have to enlarge for two scales. So, I just entered two over here and see. Automatically, what happens? Your circle radius has been increased. See, now you can see your uh, radius as 50 mm. I have drawn only for 25. It has been increased to so using your scale you can scale down your objects next we are going to discuss about your array okay so first i'm going to for that uh, we have two types of array students one is your rectangular array and your next one is your uh, circular array that is called polar array so first i have to draw a rectangle so i just uh, going to draw a rectangle over here i just made my first point i have given your dimension d 
enter and your length has been 100 and your width has been 50 now you can be able to see I have drawn a rectangle ok over here I have just made draw a circle of radius 5 mm so see I have to do an array with uh, this circle 5 columns and 5 rows ok so first I have just selected your circle and I have selected your rectangular array ok it will be asking how many columns I am going to say it is 5 columns how many rows it will be I am going to say it is 5 rows ok next it will be asking your distance next it will be asking your distance ok so uh, for example I am just going for your 3 then only I can vary your distance ok I just changed your 3 so I am saying that uh, the distance is 20 ok so it has been above your line so uh, once again I just changed your distance as uh, 16 ok similarly for your y direction I just changed it as uh, 10 so once again it has been closer so I am going to say 12.5 so you can see so I am going to over here I have just made 20 25 so like that you can vary your dimension see here I have just entered your column number and I have just entered your column number row number over here so it is a distance between your arrays over here it will be a distance between your array so this is your column wise uh, distance this is your row wise distance ok after completing is just click your ok close array over here now you can see multiple arrays is being created similarly I am going to explain for your poor array first I have drawn a circle of 5 mm over here I just clicked your polar array it will be asking you to select your object select your object then give enter it will be asking your base point I am going to select this is my base point ok then it will be asking how many for example I have just given a 12 ok see students it will be drawing I have just given your items has been 12 and the angle can be mentioned your first thing see if you have selected your base point over here what happens it will be only selecting your circles and your polar array will be generated over here see we have to be very clear with the selection of your base points most of them they will be doing your mistakes only by selecting this point we are not going to select it over here students we are going to see once again I just select your polar array I have to select your objects your center of your circle which we have been already drawn that should be your center point see over here if I give 6 items automatically a polar array will be generated as 6 if I given 8 you can see automatically 8 if I given 12 the other dimension is automatically takes up even if I give 16 your content will be entered and just click your close target so with this uh, I wind up your lecture of your basic comments uh, used in your AutoCAD software clear thank you all